The victim of what many people say was a hate crime in Wyoming this morning has died. 21-year-old Matthew Shepard was found beaten and unconscious last week near the University of Wyoming. Shepard was gay, and while police more say... about the attack and what led police to four suspects, the court report includes disturbing details. Two bicyclists approached, and at first they said it looked like a scarecrow had been tied to the fence. Instead, the lifeless, savagely beaten body of 21-year-old Matthew Shepard, a University of Wyoming freshman. Back at the scene of the crime, Matthew Shepard lay bleeding and unconscious. Finally, he was noticed by someone who thought he was a scarecrow tied to the fence. Aaron McKinney whispered an obscenity as he came into court were charged. In the county of Albany. Kidnap, robbery, and attempted murder. A hate crime, according to police, who say the two met Shepard in this Laramie bar, tricked him into believing they were gay too. But we're here mostly to say that we're against sodomy. We're against homosexuality, been against it for years. My parents taught me better. The Bible teaches us better. We're here not to condone the killing. Anyone ought to be against that, even to an animal. No one has a right to be murdered like that. But we're here to stand against wickedness. They call us hate mongers, that's fine. We want to inject, or hope to inject, a little sanity and uh, gospel truth into what's uh, shaping up fast to be some kind of an orgy of uh, homosexual uh, propaganda and lies. It's like a Cecil B. DeMille epic going on here. Did somebody yeah, I can see that. You know, kicking somebody's ass, yeah, I can see that. But uh, not trying to kill somebody. This is not the first attack that has occurred in Laramie, and I regret to say that I don't believe it will be the last, but that is certainly no different in Laramie than anywhere sad. else. By no means Hate can he or whatever we call that anybody. passion that turns um, people to the wrong Matt. motive. Um, and to shed a little more light, as far as he knows, McKinney has only been involved in some lifelines, but he also said that McKinney has no regard for the law. My son, Matthew, did not look like a winner. He was rather uncoordinated and wore braces from the age of 13 until the day he died. However, in his all too brief life, he proved that he was a winner. On October 6th, 
1998, my son tried to show the world that he could win again. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero lost. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero died. Fifty days before his 22nd birthday. I keep wondering the same thing that I did when I first saw him in the hospital. What would he have become? How could he have changed his piece of the world to make it better? Matt officially died in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. He actually died on the outskirts of Laramie. Tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, with your friend, Mr. Henderson, left him there by himself. But he was not alone. There were his lifelong friends with him.